Hey YouTube, it's Kyle Boron Modder, and again, like before, you're stuck with this ugly face, and today I have a helper, my hot wife, who's obviously too good looking for me, is holding the camera so we can get a higher quality photo or video today. So you see I got rid of the Fabrico cable here. Um, the Fabrico cable's pretty cool and all. It's great. The idea is there. It allows you to have the four wires to run the USB beacon and then the four wires that you need for the CAN bus. So you have the high low and then you have the power and ground for it, which are obviously a thicker gauge for it. The problem is this cable is absolutely thick. Can you zoom in on this? If you look at it, there is a lot of rubber on the cable. Now, I did have to pull and stretch the rubber outside of it to even fit the PG7 umbilical cables. And that was a bit of a challenge in and of itself, especially when you're talking about scaling it all the way to here, which is why the ends are still on here and I haven't taken them off. What we found out with uh, Voron Discord user Reth, R-E-T-H, uh, for the last four days, he and I have been working together on trying to find the frequency problem that we've been trying to eliminate from the 2.4. And what we determined was it wasn't the stealth burner, wasn't my lightweight clockwork two parts, or any of those components whatsoever. Everything is tight and secure on the tool head. The issue is this cable is so bulky and heavy that it was creating extra weight on both axes, the X and the Y, as you can see from the input shaper graph that I put on the screen right now. On the input shaper graph that you see, you can see these three or four lines in the graph that's causing extra vibrations across the different parameters, MZV, EI, um, the ones that you see there, right? So what we did, if you, now that we're back at the printer itself, what I did is I just redid the cables. I took eight uh, silicone coated wires, technically six, because I used a uh, thicker gauge for the CAN bus power and ground, and rerouted everything, and we're back to using the green cable sleeve. So I just ran an input shaper test, and we're gonna see if that made any impact whatsoever on that to confirm that this was actually the cause. Am I saying that Fabrico cables are bad? Absolutely not. I think for a mini Voron, the V0, these would be absolutely fantastic because it's such a short distance from the frame to the tool head. This makes the most sense. Other printers, maybe a, a Prusa or, you know, um, a bamboo if you modify it possibly, this would be great. This cable definitely has place somewhere, but it is definitely not for a Voron 2 in my opinion. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.